So the phrase which you have projected on this screen, family held forever, was the most frequently repeated phrase in the whole presentation. That seems to be a very important phrase for your family and your business. How did you come to that? John did it. One night, I came up with that. No, I didn't at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good, though. It does, doesn't it? I think, I think we came to that. We evolved to that. It wasn't a, a brilliant session uh, where we'd had uh, a bottle of wine and said, that's what we want to do. Uh, we came to realize that this, this is a valuable asset. It is valuable financially. It is valuable emotionally to, to be able to possess uh, this business of creating such, um, we're only successful, we're only successful if you come back tomorrow and then the next day and the next day, figuratively. And everything that, that we do leads, leads to that. The family has come to realize that the best protection they have for themselves as individuals in terms of the family is for the family to own the company, not to run it. And the pride that they have in that ownership, and it's, it's palpable, it's palpable that they, they are individually proud that they are part owners of, a, of this company. Um, there are longer term financial, you know, the alternative, you could sell the company. And, the, and, and if every business in this room can do that. And then there'd be a, a, a big basket of money. And then what? What you, what you have at the end of that day is a big basket of money. But there is no pride of ownership, no pride in looking forward down that, that road to the future with just that basket of money. It'll buy a lot of things, but it doesn't buy pride of ownership. I think the muscles we exercise owning a business together are the same muscles we would use if we didn't have an operating business and we were investing assets like in a more traditional kind of post-sale and family office structure, collaboration, when do we go in together, when do we go in independently. So I, you know, we have a house uh, uh, we own together and um, a vacation place and it's funny because we talk about painting or building stuff, it's the exact same processes we use for deciding on where we're going to have our next family meeting, or who should we put on the board? We, you know, we somebody somebody throws an idea up there, and we all kind of hit at it and make a decision. So I think I think it's I, I, I differ. I mean, you know, we, the business is central to our way of thinking, but it's family held isn't necessarily specific to a group of specific <laughs> assets. So I expect we'll own this asset forever. Um, it's it's really more about how we work together. I would add in there that the forever aspect of it is something that we're constantly reinvestigating, this notion of what does that mean and did we agree to this? Uh, and and that's, that's super important um, because it, it, can also, it can be, as Chris was mentioning earlier, the, the tighter you hold things, the more people struggle, but the, the more you relax, uh, the more uh, people are comfortable with this notion. <coughs> so it is, it is a constantly reinvestigated phrase. I think it is uh, also worthy of note that um, I would expect with, within uh, the next few years, there will be some family members who will sell out. That is to say, they will, they will move out. There is no requirement, you can't make it a requirement, that they, they will hold on to their stock forever. Some of some family members, as uh, G, G3 and G4 
uh, grow, will we'll move on. They'll take the asset that is their stock. They can't sell it publicly. It, it, it's sold internally. Uh, and they'll take their money and go off and be doing their thing. And that's okay. That's, that there's no stigma inside the family. We would hope that they would stay family, not necessarily ownership, but hope that they would stay family. Kevin, can I ask a related yeah, question? Sure. So you do, then you do have a buy-sell agreement and there is a redemption policy and process? We have, we have a buy-sell buy -sell agreement. Um, uh, stock uh, may not be sold outside of the family. Uh, and, and the price is set on formula. So at any given time, the, uh, uh, the finance guys can tell a given stockholder what, what their shares are, are worth. Uh, that is all determined in advance.